Hello everyone, I'm going to be making a quick video on how to get uh, Prisoner extracted and where to place it and all that good stuff. So let's get started. First of all, let's download Prisoner 0.71 at the time of the video, that is the current version or the latest version. So um, some people are asking uh, how do you extract it because uh, we're using a different file uh, format this time around because it's a uh, smaller upload size, a smaller download size. So that helps, and uh, it's actually very simple. And uh, you got to have one of these two programs. First of all, uh, I recommend 7-Zip to, um, to download to extract the files, or you could even use WinRAR. So e one of these two program works. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to be using WinRAR, and uh, I'm going to open the file 0.7, and this is what it looks like. Just got to click extract and. Uh, I don't want to change it, just click OK. It's going to extract them desktops. I already did that. And uh, where to place it? For Windows, Windows, just go to Parisno. Um, my computer, look for Mountain Blade Warband, uh, Modules, and just click, paste, it, um, paste it in here. Or you could also extract it right in here, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever works. And for Steam versions, just go uh, same directory, go to Steam. Look for Steam Apps and go to Common, Modulate Warband, Modules. Exact same thing, just different directory. And uh, I don't have Steam open now, you just have to open Warband with Steam to find that. So I don't have it in here right now because I don't use Steam. So uh, I have it in already. So let's go to Warband. Uh, here we go. And let's look for the module 0.71 and just click and play. Some people also have problems getting the mod to run for some reason. And I guess uh, it differs from computer to computer. I have a pretty decent computer. I'll, I'll show, my, show my settings and I'll show my computer specs. So here we go. It's my video settings. I use DirectX 9 and I use resolution all the way. This 1280 by whatever. I use most of these. Check or uncheck these to see if it works for you. And the aliasing off, low shadow quality. I don't, like, really, don't really like shadows. Advanced, just uh, put that off. I just use that for modding. So yeah. And my computer specs. So if you have a better computer than me, you should be able to run this. So uh, AMD, Phenom, whatever, 5.6 rating. Uh, I run a quad core processor, and uh, these are pretty decent. So. I think these are the important ones you can look at. I only got 1.8 gigahertz and only got 4 gigs of RAM. I think if you have two, that's the minimum you can have for Perisno. If you have less than two, you're going to have problems. So that's about it. If you got that going, then you should be good. And also, one quick other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, go to uh, ModTB and look for the Perisno page and vote for uh, Perisno. That's the mod of 2014. So click here. Already voted. So I'll have all the links below. If you have any questions, just uh, just ask. Thanks for watching.